looking rather babyish after a, a shave. Welcome to the new video. Oh, I actually got to catch this bus. Just about made that street killer in time because if I hadn't missed it, I would have been waiting for another five minutes. So the plan for today's video is to show you everything I do regarding eating and training, even leading up to training in GEA tonight. So I have GEA training tonight at about 7pm. So I'm going to show you what I had first meal of the day. And the most important thing that you want to focus on throughout the day is getting your carb intake in. I like to hit about 75% of my total carb intake throughout the day before I actually train for GEA that night. So I'm going to put my current uh, calories and macros on the screen right now and then you'll be able to focus in on the carbs intake. I'm taking in roughly around 200 grams at the minute. So before football training the night I want to have at least about 140, 130 grams in me. Okay. So started off the first meal, very very simple, you've seen it loads of times on my channel, it's just porridge, it's just the oats with the protein, the peanut butter and obviously the main carb source which is the actual oats itself. And then I also had two slices of bread and I threw in some raspberries into the oats as well because I'm all about that micronutrients as well. So just about to hit up a push session here. Yes, I do go to the gym on days of GEA training, but I never do lower body and I never exhaust myself to fatigue where I'm out of breath or I'm pushing my body too hard or I'm taxing the body. So we're gonna do here a simple push workout. I'll bring you along, show you some raw clips. And the most important thing that I like to do here is I like to keep the time frame between my gym train and the actual GA train itself to a maximum. So it's now 11 a.m. and train's not till seven, so that's eight hours in between. So that is absolutely loads of time in between. So yeah, you can work out and train on the same day. Just give yourself enough time in between. So I'm gonna get to this workout. Give the video a thumbs up, as usual. Subscribe if you're brand new going to show you everything I do today and hopefully maybe get some train footage of me playing GEA later on tonight. We are currently roughly around three weeks out from the championship round one here in Toronto.
Okay, so I just finished up that quick session there. Didn't spend too long in the gym, roughly around 50 to minutes to one hour. And I do know the last video I done, I focused on chest, shoulders and triceps, but a couple of days has passed and it's just coincidence that my chest, shoulders and triceps have fallen on the same day that I'm vlogging again. So the majority of the working sets I done was very low volume. I didn't do any more than three sets in any exercise. For the chest, I started off just pre-working the chest, getting the blood flowing by just doing some flies, and then I done incline, and all the reps I done in the video was between eight and 12, which is hypertrophy. So like I said, low volume on days of GA training. Make sure you have a good, good long window. I now have about seven to eight hours until training tonight. I have about two more meals that I have to get into me before then and mainly they're going to be focusing on carbohydrates because glucose is going to give me the energy to make it through the training. So in the workout itself I done the warm up for the chest which was the flies, done some incline bench and then went on to shoulders. I done some warm up with the machine and then I also went into some compound shoulder dumbbell press and then done a couple other isolation movements, done some ladder raises. You notice in every single set I do, I'm not exhausting myself, which means I'm not going to failure. I'm basically just getting the 12 reps in, and then I'm not actually pushing out the last rep as I would whenever I don't have GA training, if you get me. So what I plan now is go back home, show you what I'm cooking up, probably gonna have one or two meals before training. My main meal will be about three hours before training. So that'll be roughly around four o'clock. That's gonna be my main meal, my main carb source. It's gonna get me through the training. And like you said, I will try my best to get some footage of the training itself. But you know yourself, it's kind of awkward if you ask someone on the sideline, will you video me training? But you know what, I don't, don't really give a shit. So I'll try my best to get that for you. I have got to get a haircut, the fucking state of it. The state of it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Fucking state of it. Boom! Back in the apartment, chilling out. Me and you talking about nutrition and why I am eating the way I am today for GA training. So, most of you know, or if you have been watching the last video, how many calories I am taking in each day. This is the amount of calories I am taking in every single day. And this does not change regarding matches or training or gym sessions. I have this every single day. And the macros do not change either. I'm gonna put the macros up here now. So we have our protein, our carbohydrates, and our fats. But the most important thing that you wanna worry about when you have GA training or GA matches is your carbohydrates. And what is important is meal timing for your carbohydrates and when should you take your carbohydrates throughout the day before a match or before training. Now, this used to actually get on my nerves when I was younger and I was looking for advice and there's nothing on YouTube regarding GA training nutrition. Uh, yes, there's a loads of stuff like you know Rob Lipset and um, all these big Irish guys doing bodybuilding nutrition but there's actually GA nutrition is a lot different than bodybuilding nutrition because at the end of the day if it fits your macros uh, meal timing is not important for body composition now if you watch GA or you play GA you know that you need to eat your carbohydrates at a certain time of the day to reach the energy levels that you need for a game or for training so this is why I like to take my main carb source, which is glucose, which is going to give you the most energy for the game or training, two to four hours before your training or match. Now, it is currently roughly around 2 p.m. This is the meal that I just had. This is literally an hour after the gym session. My main focus in this meal was to get the protein into me. So as long as I hit my protein goal every single day, I will maintain the muscle that I have built up over the last year or so or longer and it will also continue to repair muscle fibers that I'm breaking down into the gym. So that's the protein sorted out. There are very little carbohydrates in that meal because I like to keep my carbohydrates for the next meal which is roughly about three hours before my match or my training. So training tonight 7 p.m. Main meal is going to go down around five o'clock, four or five o'clock and um, no later than five o'clock because it'll be too close 
to the train or the match and you can get cramps and you feel like shit and you feel sluggish so give yourself at least two three even four hours uh, before you train or before you you play a match so that was just a little little talk on when your meal timings for GEA matches or training should be and should you focus on your protein obviously you want to hit your protein every single day one gram per pound of body weight my macros of protein is roughly around 160 170 grams right now which is a little bit higher than one gram per body weight because i'm trying to lose weight but maintain as much muscle as possible so therefore i'm having 1.2 grams per, per pound of body weight okay so if i was bulking i would have zero 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight but that is a whole different topic right now i want to just make sure you understand meal timings and you're not doing if it fits your macros just for ga because that won't work that works for bodybuilders that works for body composition that works for people just trying to get in great shape and not actually working on sports performance but you guys that are focusing on ga like i am this summer then you just need to have your carbohydrate intake under control and you need to know when you're actually taking your carbohydrates uh, on days of training and days of match so another thing i want to touch on is how much carbohydrates should you take in on each match day or each training day that is entirely up to you preferably i like to take about 70 percent of my overall carbs for the day before the game or before the training so i'm going to probably have around 150 grams of carbohydrates for the, the training session ahead and then i'll have like 50 grams for the post training session okay to replenish all the calories that i will have lost in a lot of running and training so everybody's different Maybe your maintenance or your uh, current macros are 300, 400 grams. If you're someone that's six foot five and you play inter-county football or you're a big club player and you're doing a lot of exercise, then obviously your carbohydrates will be a lot more than mine. That's only five foot five um, at a lighter weight than you. But find out your own uh, macros. And I've done a load of videos on this, how do you find your own macros and just fiddle it about. Some days you can go higher carb and lower fat. And then some days you can even mix around and go higher fat, lower carb. It's whatever suits you. The only person that will understand the true benefits of the carbohydrates the glucose energy in the body is yourself so i try to get 75 percent of my overall carbohydrate intake in before the train so i'll catch you later on whenever i actually cook the main meal that i'm going to have before train you're my music but you tear me to pieces so where does it come from Keeps playing on repeat, ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Time for football training. Boots. Check. My protein long sleeve top for the warm up. Check. Towel. Check. Gum shield. Check. Inhaler. <laughs> Shorts that I robbed from Jordanstown, check. The dark heels slash Scottsdown football socks, check. Adidas lifting socks that I wear under my Gaelic socks to help with hard ground and blisters, check. DKIT basketball jersey sleeveless, check. Bottle of water. Obviously. Finally, some after sun for all the lads that I'm going to roast at training. I've literally been refreshing the GA website all day today to see if my sanction has went through. Still no sign. Thursday evening, game Saturday morning. Needs to be done by tomorrow. I want to fucking play ball. Literally just finished training now, coming out of the train station. Also, never use the escalator, always use the steps because the more steps you take, more your total daily expenditure increases anyway unfortunately i couldn't video any of the training because you know what they're like at gea if you video your team training and you put it online you look like a dickhead so i'm not up to that standard just yet so right now i gotta go get my hair cut because the state of this on top of my head there's a lovely gentleman of an irish guy that cuts hair in toronto in his basement so that's where I'm going now and I will show you what the hair is like and I'll also show you my last meal of the day. Absolute war wound from training. But anyway, I got the hair cut. 
Absolute gentleman from Clare, cuts hair in Toronto, down in his basement. So any of need a haircut in Toronto, hook him up or hook me up and I'll pass him on to you. So I'm going to finish up this video now because it is close to half 11. I'm absolutely bollocks. Showed you a load of footage today on what I do on days of GEA training. Usually I would have a last minute meal before I go to bed. But right now I'm extremely tired. I am really, really excited to get back into bed for the night so i'm going to show you is what i'm going to have it's just a simple protein bar as you know my main goal every single day is to hit my protein goal that is the most important thing for this summer leading up to championship and then the carbohydrates obviously after that i'm rambling on here because i'm that tired so give the video a like subscribe if you're brand new tell your friends tell your mother tell your father tell your children tell your brothers and sisters that I am doing an episode one championship prep very soon, three weeks away from the 9th of July, which is championship. So Ricey out here, love you all, good luck.